Behind me is one of the latest supercomputer of the country, Param Kamrupa. Now this has been developed by CDAC. It is part of the 15 new supercomputers which will be installed in different parts of the country. This one now has been installed at IIT Guwahati. Now this is a project which is being implemented by CDAC. Uh, parts of the hardware of this supercomputer has been actually manufactured in the country and the software on which this supercomputer is going to run is manufactured, is been built up by CDAC itself. So it's like a made in India software and this supercomputer at any given point of time can actually process data uh, which can be processed by at least 1500 desktop at any given point of time. To know more about this supercomputer, where it will be used, what are its applications, we are now joined by officials from IIT Guwahati as well as CDAC. Sir, if I can get your introduction. Uh, I'm Asis Sanjan, I'm Associate Director in HPC Technologies Group in CDAC Pune and I've been part of designing this system and we have been collaborating with our funding agency DST and MITE uh, along with IIT as our uh, host institution. Uh, we are the implementing agency. So if you talk about supercomputers in our country, this is the latest in the Param series, mm -hmm. one of the latest. You have 15 of them which are going to come up in different uh, parts of the country. Uh, tell us about the features of this uh, supercomputer and where all it is going to be used. So this is one of the latest technologies based uh, supercomputer and uh, we have installed similar such systems across 15 other institutes within India under NSM and the beauty of this whole uh, program has been that this this is completely indigenous approach has been taken. Software has been from the uh, start, first system has been developed by CDAC and installed by CDAC. Uh, hardware, uh, first phase was assembled in India but phase two uh, we manufactured it in India and third phase we are uh, designing our own boards and manufacturing in India. So it will be completely all part of the supercomputer will be within India. So hardware to software and design also. Going forward we will see a larger installation of these things uh, because this doesn't into only involve uh, only technology. So we have all the core technology required for this kind of supercomputers like uh, we have our own interconnect. Network is a very important part in this kind of thing. Then again, we are coming with our own processor also. Uh, sir, if I can get your introduction. Uh, myself, Zaherul Islam. I am the in charge of this uh, facility. Now, this facility and this supercomputer, this supercomputer is also the fastest that uh, IIT Guwahati has or Northeast India has. What will be the applications where all you are going to use it uh, in, in terms of this, you know, high powered uh, data processing and other uh, utilities that this is going to provide? Yeah. Previously, we have a Paramisan supercomputer that, uh, that, uh, that has a power of 250 teraflops. The, this facility has 838 teraflops. Uh, basically, this will be used in like uh, various research like uh, computation fluid dynamics, like uh, biophysics and other physical uh, material science applications like atomic, uh, atomic simulation, uh, weather forecasting, this type of things we are using. And then is artificial intelligence mainly, we are now, this facility will be mainly used for artificial intelligence and data sciences. Also, uh, its uh, cooling technology is, is, is a very modern technology, if you can explain that. Uh, this is actually direct liquid cooling technology. Uh, this is uh, actually more 50% efficient than the, our previous cooling technology like normal air cool, air cool technology. This is 50% more efficient, this technology is. 